What's up everyone, it's Jake here, aka Almost Vintage Style, and I'm back! Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a video, something like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, or whatever it is, it's been a really long time. Um, but uh, a lot of stuff has happened, um, I got married, for example, you may notice the couch is a little different, my background's different, the boot wall's not here right now, but uh, I did get married. Uh, some of you may know uh, Vintage Feather from Instagram, that's my wife. So, uh, you know, new place, you know, new everything. Um, so, lots of exciting stuff uh, has been happening to me. Um, kept the weight off, got married, lots of great stuff. And, um, but a uh, new jacket also, you know, new boots, all that. Um, still been on Instagram, obviously, and been doing all the um, blog writing. Like I said, I, I even when I left, I said I was gonna keep doing um, the writing on the blog and so I've been doing that that's been consistent uh, but I have more recently felt like I've wanted to come back to do some YouTube videos again so here I am I've actually been wanting to come back and do YouTube for honestly about three months now but you know that's about when I got married so or actually maybe even four or five months ago but you know all this stuff happened and it's great but uh, I did kind of slow down my return to YouTube so this is something I'm definitely sure about because I've been feeling like I've wanted to do this for a while. And I figured I would come back with something that I am actually very excited about. Um, and actually before I do that, I do want to kind of give a little um, update um, besides all that, which I just mentioned, but also um, one of the things, one of the reasons I stopped doing YouTube is because I didn't, I hate editing videos. I really, really don't like editing videos. Um, and I didn't like having to try to keep my videos down to certain amounts of time, which is what a lot of my audience said. Um, so one of the biggest inspirations for me to come back to YouTube, um, besides the fact that a lot of people actually did say they wanted me to come back, which I'm not gonna lie, I mean, that feels good because I definitely have a lot of people that don't like my YouTube videos or my reviews. Um, so it felt good to have a lot of people actually ask me to come back. And when I said I was thinking about it, they said they wanted me to come back. So I feel like at least some people are gonna appreciate that I'm gonna do some reviews again. So I, I'm happy about that. Um, and uh, my buddy Dave at the Vintage Future. Um, I definitely want to give him a huge shout out. Um, he has started doing a lot of video reviews over the last couple of years and I really like his content. I think it's probably the best, yeah, it's, I'd say he's the best boot reviewer out there. And um, I like that he just does the kind of videos that he wants and doesn't care really about, you know, length or, or editing or anything like that. He's just giving you pure, content and knowledge and information and all of that sort of thing and that made me his success made me realize that I can do that too because I don't want to have to try to make like super high production value stuff or you know um, have to edit a bunch of things like I don't I hate editing clips together um this is probably just going to be one take and if I make mistakes then so be it whatever honestly um because I don't like to do that so if I'm not having fun basically I won't keep doing this so you, the videos may not be perfect, but um, at least I'll be doing them basically and I'll be happy doing them um, So yeah, but anyways, I, I figured I would come back with a review that I think is a pretty big one and important one because I, and I never did it on my old channel also that reminds me I'm not going to be Putting the old videos back up. Um, I'm not happy with the quality of them and I think I've come a lot further as a reviewer and just like my knowledge base and stuff like that um, you know, with my, my, uh, articles, I can edit them down and, or edit them up or, you know, just change stuff if I make inaccurate statements, um, or if I don't include enough detail or whatever, or new information comes out from either my experience or just new information in general, I can change it. And I have done that actually. That's one thing I, I pride myself on is that, um, if I make a mistake, I admit it and I correct it and I do whatever I can to fix it you can do that a lot easier on a blog slash website because you can just go in and edit it. So, I, and I have done that on many occasions, but um, you can't really do that with YouTube videos. So I think a lot of my, pretty much all my YouTube videos are now outdated. Um, not to mention, I don't really like how I look in most of them, obviously. So they're going to stay down. But so if any old boots that I don't have anymore that I've sold, I won't be able to re-review. Honestly, I may mention them in, in upcoming videos, but you know, going forward, I will be reviewing um, you know, just boots, jackets, hats, glasses, honestly, jeans, clothes, shirts, you know, and just talking about style in general. So that's also just, you know, what you're going to be looking forward to in terms of overall content. Also, 
expect to see Ali here at least once or twice. The lovely and beautiful uh, Vintage Feather, my wife, uh, she will be making some appearances hopefully on the channel as well. So hopefully you look forward to that. Anyway, on to this actual review. This is a pair of boots that I've had for a very long time and I really wanted to... I used to on the old channel kept thinking, oh, I'm going to save these for a review. I'll save in for a lot of boots, like all my most favorite boots. I wanted to save them a lot for reviews. And honestly, at this point, like, you know, what? I'm just going to review what I want to review. Again, just kind of this do what I enjoy attitude. So what I'm going to review today is my pair of Roll Club Engineer boots. I have had these for a very long time. They're not actually the oldest pair of boots in my collection. Uh, the oldest that I have are my John Lofgren Engineers. Um, but these are pretty up there, so they are, and I figured this would be a good thing to review because there's, I mean, Brian makes a lot of videos obviously himself, but there's not really a ton of, like, serious reviews, um, especially in video form of roll clubs, so at least not a ton that I've seen, so I figured I would do one, and I have had these for quite a while and have a pretty good amount of experience with them. And my opinion on them has actually changed over time. So I'm glad I actually waited on these. So these are the Roll Club Engineer boots, um, custom made in um, brown Horwing Chrome XL horse hide on the original Roll Club. I believe it's the 2307 flat toe last. Um, you can see, you know, no toe structure. Uh, whatsoever, which is one of the things I really like about these. And I'll just kind of give you an overview and we'll see, you know, what I think. Now, one of the first things that, you know, I would normally talk about in a boot is sizing and um, with Roll Club, that's not really something to talk about too much because you send in measurements. Um, I don't know exactly how bespoke the last is on this. Um, you know, it's one of those things where if he really made a fully bespoke glass, I can't imagine he'd be able to do that for the price he does. Uh, but he's got to do some, I would assume he does some sort of customizations. There is like a general size imprinted in the boot. Um, he does have like a general sizing that he goes by. So I don't know what the exact customizations are, um, but these do fit me very, very well. Now, one thing I do need to point out is that when I got these boots, I, I live pretty close to Brian. I live in the LA area. So I was able to get measured in person by him. And I know some people who have sent in measurements have had some maybe minor issues. I think some people have had no issues that have done that. I obviously have had no issues. These are, I think my second best fitting pair of boots that I own, uh, which is pretty great, honestly, especially considering the fact that they're engineers. That's pretty awesome. And so if you're somebody who really cares about fit and comfort and are, is worried about getting engineers that fit, especially if you can go in person, I think Roll Club is an amazing option for that reason. They, I mean, the wait is really, really long. It's something like two years or maybe more now at this point. When I got these, it was a, the wait was a lot shorter, but either way, I think it's worth it. Um, so, and because one of the things he did for me at least is the shaft is wider than it would normally be because I have a pretty high instep, to, instep especially on my left foot. So that's like a little accommodation that he made for me and it, it helped. So, you know, getting measured in person on and having that little bit of extra help has made these a great fitting boot. So I really like that. Now, one of the reasons I didn't love these boots at first, and anybody who knows me, you know what I'm about to say, it's the leather, okay? I don't love... Chrome XL. It's not a favorite of mine at all, and especially brown Chrome XL, in my opinion, is incredibly boring. I think it's got to be, in terms of like actually good quality leathers, because I don't want you to think that I don't think this is a good quality leather. For combination tan leather, Chrome XL is good leather, right? It's not bad quality. Like, it's objectively good. I don't think it's objectively the best, but it's definitely objectively good but I find it boring. It is technically corrected grain. Um, I don't know if that's the case for the horse hide, though I would assume it is. You can barely tell this is, honestly, in my experience, like with this, I can barely tell that this is horse hide versus the, the cow hide. Biggest difference is that it's stiffer and there's like, it's actually like even smoother in a weird way. Um, there's really not that much grain on this boot. Hopefully you can see, but I kind of do like the smooth shininess up here on the shaft on this one. Um, on the right boot, you can see a lot more grain break, but I don't, 
you know, it, you can notice it here, but this is one of those things where, I don't know, it's just not the most pleasant looking, honestly. Like, I don't think it's loose grain, but it almost, it looks like loose grain, but it doesn't feel like loose grain. I don't know, it's, you know, it's just not, it's not my favorite. I don't love it. It's a very, I know the lighting's not great here, but either way, it's a rather kind of dull sort of, it's not, there's not a lot of depth to it. I think it's funny a lot of people say Chrome XL has a ton of depth. I don't see it. I mean, compared to some of those, I suppose, but you get into your vegetable tan leathers like Battalassi, Mariam, Shinky, um, uh, tons of others, and they have more depth of color and like richness to me. So that was one of the reasons I didn't love the boots as much for a long time, but I've started to appreciate them a lot more now. Um, one of the reasons, of course, is that they just look fantastic. I do think this is one of the two, in my opinion, best design engineer boots on the market. It is very unique in that it, these are pretty small and light. That's one of the things that I want people to be aware of if you're not already. They are not big. They, like, they, they look small. Like, if you look at them, like, especially looking down, like, from a top-down view, uh, compared to other engineers, especially, they will look very small and they will feel a bit smaller. Um, not like tight in terms of fit, but they just don't have as big of a presence. And I don't mind that, they, I don't mind that. They have a sort of cowboy boot inspiration. Brian has, you know, his teacher is from Mexico um, and worked on a lot of cowboy boots. And if you go to a shop, there's tons of cowboy boots there. So there's a big cowboy boot influence um, with these. So, and those are a little bit slimmer, I think, than engineers in general. Uh, so. They are kind of cowboy boot-esque for an engineer. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. I think it's pretty cool, especially because I have plenty of other boots in my, you know, collection that don't, aren't like this. So, you know, I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, but it's a great design. And I think Brian, one of the things that recommends Roll Club is the fact that I think he's the only one, he's the only engineer maker, in my opinion, that has two great lasts. Uh, his... Uh, the was it the RC 1940 last and which is like the slightly taller one but it's still flat toe it's still still collapse and this original 2307 flat toe they're both they're both great um, and if I got another pair I'd probably get the next pair in the RC 1940 not that I don't love these it's just that he also has another really good last and even Clinch who I adore and I'll review all three of my Clinch boots here on the channel eventually. I only like the original Classic Narrow Last from Clinch, whereas Brian, I think, has two really good options. And he also has tons of other really good looking boots. I mean, if you want a maker that has a ton of really good looking boots, I think he's really up there. Um, his customer service was fantastic. Um, I know the wait is very long, but he had good communication with me. This is several years ago. I don't know if anything's the same or different now. Honestly, I can't tell you, for better or worse. Um, but it was great for me. I did one, a couple little customizations, made everything very dark here. Not, uh, I did, I got rid of the white stitching here for the, um, uh, for the, uh, midsole outsole stitch right here. And I just went with, um, black and then, um, slightly lower heel. So it's one heel lift lower than his standard because his standard is super tall. I like it. I'm still not unhappy with it because it's still like about the same height as most engineer boots. His go are taller than most, and at the time I thought it was a bit extreme, but now if I when I get these resold, I'll probably have him go back to his standard height, but I don't regret this at all. Another cool feature, obviously, his own like branded lasts, uh, not lasts, <laughs> uh, soles, which I think are really, really cool, in my opinion, the nicest looking ones out there. Obviously, these are kind of used, so you can see I've worn these a lot. Um, but I think they're cool. I think they look great. And they've honestly held up pretty darn well. I think the heel is starting to go here on this one, if you can see. And probably the other one as well. But, you know, it's held up overall pretty darn well. Um, other cool things, uh, the fact that he does triple and quad stitching here. So triple stitching here where the vamp meets the shaft or upper or whatever. And then quad stitching here on the, you know, heel counter. I think that's really cool. I like lots of extra stitching. In terms of quality, these are very, very, very good. Uh, obviously, as everybody you know knows me, I will tell you White Cloud is the platinum standard. Like White Cloud is its own level in heritage style or work style footwear. 
nothing comes, nothing touches White Cloud at all. But um, there's a lot in the amazing, you know, ridiculously good tier right below that, and Roll Club is in that tier along with Clinch. I would say Flame Panda, and I would say Andrahood. I would say those are all kind of in that same sort of tier together. But Roll Club has much better designs and lasts than Andrahood has. So there's a big diff. I mean, it's worth it. Like, these look so much better than Andrahood's engineers. No offense to Andrahood, I think he's still working on it, which is great. But these just look so much better. Uh, there's so much better design, it's not even close. So, you know, that's one of the things that, even though the quality I'd say is similar, um, and I don't know about the inner materials with Andrew, they could be good, they could not be great. Um, but these are very good. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I like the buckles. Very nice, you know, brass roller buckles. I also really like that the roll um, here is like a, a contrasting color. I think that's really cool. I really dig that. Um, and I think he nails the, str uh, the strap length here. Um, there's really not much to complain about. Like I said, quality is very good. The upper stitching is very tight, very even. Um, the edge finishing was, was pretty solid on mine as well. I mean, they're obviously beat up now, but I mean, what are you going to do about that? That's what's, that's what's supposed to happen. They still look pretty darn good, to be honest with you. And, you know, the, the outsole stitching was solid as well. No, honestly, no major, no mistakes, really. It's just not, not you know, not quite as perfect as White Club, but what is. So... They're really, really good. Like, I've heard some people have seen some mistakes from Brian, but I've seen mistakes from literally everybody um, at this point. So, you know, as long as he takes care of the, the, the very few mistakes or whatever that there are, then there's not, I don't think there's too much to worry about. Um, but mine are extremely well made. The upper stitching is very tight and even. Everything is clean. There's no, I've never had a problem with these. And I've owned these for... <sighs> Gosh, at least four years. I can't even remember at this point, but it's been a long time that I've had these, maybe four or five years. I don't know, and I've worn them a lot. Um, but yeah, there's honestly, I can't really think of downsides aside from the cost and the wait time, I guess. But I can't see a reason that if you like engineers, then if you're really an engineer enthusiast, you, I think you kind of just have to have a pair of these. In my opinion, they're really great. And like I said, I, I've come to love them even more and more. One slightly weird thing about these, and I, because I see, you know, I noticed this after Dave, the vintage feature, started talking a lot about like heel counters and stuff like that, and like how stiff some heel counters are. Interesting thing about the roll clubs, and I don't know if this is still the case, but this is the case for mine, is the heel counter is very flat. Like it doesn't have like a really cupped, you know, locked in sort of thing but they still fit really well and interestingly have the least amount of heel slip out of all my engineers which to me is kind of crazy um so for me at least it's not a problem and it's also kind of soft like normally you'd think a heel counter like would stay really really stiff now you can actually kind of push in on these a little bit um so you know i guess some people would find that kind of weird um i just think it's interesting like you can really squeeze down here too like, it's not the stiffest heel counter at all. But who knows? I mean, I don't know much about cowboy boots. That could be a cowboy boot thing. It could be an oversight on his part, but it also might not be. I don't know. It is slightly weird, but the interesting thing for me is it hasn't been an issue because they still fit really well. I mean, they fit so well that I don't mind. They fit fairly snug, um, but in a good way for me. Um, they're pretty locked in. There's, the, there's a tiny bit of heel slip. I don't have any engineers that have heel slip. Okay, that's just how it is. And even a lot of my lace boots have some amount of heel slip. Um, like, an, even if it's a tiny amount. And so, the, but these have the least out of any engineer. So they fit great. Second best fitting pair of boots. Most comfortable pair of engineers that I own. For me personally, they've broken in very, very nicely. You know, they're light for an engineer and small for an engineer, but they don't feel unsubstantial. Like, I've had no quality control issues. No, nothing falling apart. Um, and so... Yeah, I absolutely love these. Started to love them even more now that I have like this jacket, for example, and now I have another dark brown freewheelers jacket. So I guess it's like the boots are so good, I've started to not care as much about the leather that I don't love. Like it's still a good color that goes really nicely with this jacket, which is my favorite jacket that I have. And besides my white cloud boots, this is probably my favorite thing that I own. Um, and so that's one of the things that's made me really, really appreciate these. And I brought these on my honeymoon um, 
and they were the ones, th these are what I wore the most, and probably the boots that I've worn overall the most since I've gotten married. So, and I just, it's making me love them even more. So it's one of those things where I always liked them. I always knew they were good. My opinion on like the quality has pretty much been the same since I got them, which is good because it's been consistent. Like I've had no reason to change my very, very high opinion on them. But that kind of personal connection with a pair of boots, which sounds kind of weird, but it's, it is a thing, right? Like how much you really love something, how much it really makes you excited. That's gone up for these. Um, with other boots, it's gone down, but it's for these, it's definitely gone up and I appreciate them so much more now. And especially, like I said, in like the past six months, it's really my appreciation and love for these boots has really skyrocketed, which is why this is the pair that I really wanted to talk about now. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's uh, I covered as much as I can, like I said. Now, I think I paid the old price, like the original price for these, which is something like twelve fifty, something like that. Um, I think they're more than that now. Honestly, anything like in the fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, even eighteen hundred dollar range, given his his popularity and his wait list and all that stuff, um, I could see that being worth it, honestly, um, because they're great and it's a unique thing. The custom sending in measurements for engineers and stuff like that. I mean, creosote does that now too, which is cool, but these are different than the creosotes, right? So, and Brian's name at this point is bigger, so you kind of have to pay a little bit more for that, which I think is understandable. Um, I think you're still getting quality products. So, yeah, absolutely love these boots. I can't recommend uh, Brian enough. Um, again, the, the biggest thing right now is like, I know for some people, communication, he's just so busy, right? Any of these custom makers that have really exploded over the past few years, you're gonna have to make sure you keep up the communication on your end. It's not, I don't think that's just him. For me, it was great, um, but that was a while back. Who knows how it is now? I can't speak as much on that, but I love them. So yeah, there you go. First review back in the books. I will try to keep these uh, pretty consistent now going forward. Who knows exactly how consistent? I'd like to do at least once a month though. And more if I can, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video and I uh, will catch you next time. Thank you.